Hey guys, welcome back to PS Gamer. And in this video, I'll teach you how to solve the 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Now, the 4x4x4 four by four by four is actually similar to the 3x3x3, three three three, but except for all well, um, pure parodies, and which I'll be teaching you in this video itself. Now, the first step of 4x4 four four is to be knowing its notation and how it's structured. So, if you guys are saying RW, something, so this is RW, RW prime. And RW2 is this, and RW2 will usually be used in a Jew parry, and RW2B2 stuff like that. And then you have also to do cute rotations such as X, this is X, X prime, Y is rotating this side, Y prime is like this, Y2. Then Z is this this side, and Z prime is this side. Now, as you guys have got cover notation, is also F, that will be BW, and stuff like that. But BW will be only be used in 5 by 6 for 6 and 7 by 7 which will be, uh, which will, we are uploading in my future videos. And means the first step is get a scramble. I'll see you guys when I finish scrambling. Okay, so I finished the scrambling it. And I'm going to teach you guys from any color. So I'm going to bang for the show. 3, 2, 1, this. So here I'm going to show the red. Because you guys can see the red face. So what we do is you can bars like this. And so we find the bar. Like, like 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 this, and what I can do we just smash them together and put it up. And sometimes the cases are when you put put in bar like this, and this bar also gets um, separated. So what you should do is put it in a horizontal way, vertical like this or this, then you can slap them together. The big thing I often don't realize is if it's something to be like this. So I have an easier way to solve this rather than doing it here and stuff. You can do. R W prime, F prime, R W. That's the way it's all. If you have diagonal, and you can put it. Up. The next thing is to know which the color notation. So in three by three, the uh, orange is opposite red. So we'll be doing the same thing up here. So red, orange. So we have none. Uh, so I'll just find a bar here and we can put it up. But unfortunately, this piece also grabs. So this is the garbage piece. Garbage piece means the center we haven't parry. So it is a U U two. To move it down. And after we have these two pairs, and then you line up. But unfortunately, when we lined up, this pair also come up. So what we do is we put it down, do an F2 to so bring it here, and do R W E2 R W prime. There we go. So our next step is to solve the centers, uh, the third centers. In Yao, what we do? I have a separate video for Yao. Only Yao, not not three to three. In Yao, what we do is we build the first three edges, and then we solve the centers, then do three to three. For reduction, we solve the rest of the centers like normal, so we have the yellow, something like this. And then now you have to know the color scheme correctly, and you guys know this side is white, as you guys can see, but you don't know if this side is going to be green or blue. So you can either check a three by three, but you know how to touch any cues during solving. So the best method option here is to find a corner. And place it in the correct spot. So here is our red, yellow, and uh, blue. So this is the blue, this is green. And by the way, I'll link where I got that in the description, which is so uh, you can check him out. And the blue is here, and the green looks more done. So the two green, and you have these two. Again, you should watch out. It will good luckily if it's horizontal, it's really vertical. And then you lose it. Okay, so we have our last two centers, so we can have something like this. What we can do is check the color schemes. This is blue here, so R to R prime, and there you go, the centers. Something we can also have it in multiple swaps like this, so we can do is put it here, do like that. and the worst case scenario is to have diagonal cases. Just do the algo I just showed you, and I'm not sure if I can. Get that here it is. So I only do the do R W R prime and then do the arc it's got. And now we can go on to the edges. So for the edges what I just saw is these two. I don't care whether what white edge we can start off with white edge. So I can see these two so I can line them up. And when I'm lining up I see these two. I'm that's gonna be my next edge. But when I line this up, the center is broken. So we do uh, inserting arc which is R U R prime. Let me fly slice back, and then we have these two edges, 
and then we should only do a gar uh, put an edge in a garbage piece. If you put an edge like non like this, you will break up the edge and you don't want to happen. So are you are fine? And I see this edge. And then here we can do have this edge. And after that, sometimes you can either have the edge like like this. So you do B prime, U R prime. But when you do this, you probably just won't. Uh, you get the idea flipped. Uh, you body pair. So how to predict which one come here? It's just look at this edge. If this edge is garbage, you use that. If not, you can do a U or U prime. Find any edge which is and do yak. And then next we have this. This I'm gonna speed it up because. I will record five and a half, almost six minutes now. And then here, and just so now I can go ahead and count one, two, three, four, five. So I have five edges. Oh, no, so one more. And now we have our last four edges. So if you sometimes, sorry for the birds chirping, and sometimes you have one axe on your edge, two axe on your all of them. If you have no, uh, uh, none of them, you can just pair up one like I taught you. And if you have one accent edge, you can go ahead and do. Now I'm about to show you, but in this case, what we have is two edges. Uh, not two. So if you want to learn how to uh, flip three edges, uh, I'll link that in the description or I'll maybe teach you. So what I can do is I'll do U W and then flip, which is this. Then you will be fine. You guys may be thinking, yeah, that's it, that's it. But hang on a sec. When one just off your flip, um, you can either get oil and peel up parity, which normally affect your tongue. Something like this. So you can either have a T shape or an I shape. So if you have a T shape, you can I shape you with a T. And the beginner parity algae is so the right is associated to the top and the left is associated to the front. What we do is we do this, you two, and you do the left. F2, uh, left, up, F2, right twice, U2, 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 to F2, and then we have a really easy anti soon, and then I think we have a GB penetration. If the normal pair, uh, well, by the Cuba is called Lucas and Drew parody. I do not know Drew, but this is Lucas parody. So this is R W U two uh, X R W U two R W U two R W prime U two L W U two R W prime U two R W U two R W prime U two R W prime. And it swaps all these pieces as well. Next thing we have PL parody, and we have adjacent PL parody. Now we opposite PL parity, adjacent PL parity, and also have corner parity. So for PL parity, it's this W2, WR2, U2, right watch 2, U2, WR2, W2. And how Tingman does he does this. He's also pretty good at But what uh, tops his feet keep is a. And Sebastian Roy has a different one, Alg. He is this, which is really bad. So uh, uh, normal people who they use is this. And then we have uh, adjacent PL parity. So what you do is you do the setup, PL parity, and then undo setup. So the setup is just a sexy move. And then PL parity. And if you don't want a dramatic setup, just think about this F2 up here going here. And the last type of PL parity you can get is the corner parity. The two corners are uh, so, uh, swapped. Okay, if you do it from here, you get an F perm. If you do it from here, you got a T perm. So, uh, this is a normal PR party. And T perm. And so, yeah, guys. Uh, that took nine, nine, about nine and a half minutes. That's the full tutorial on how to solve a 4x4. And hope you enjoy. And I'm gonna put you guys where I learned 4x4 in the description. Maybe not. I'm Because I have no idea where. I learned, but I'm gonna put the where I learned the oil parody as well. Uh, yeah, cool. See you guys in the next video. I'm not sure, but I think I'll put in the description. Yeah, bye.